The study which we're using here is called paleolimnology. And what that is, is basically we study the mud from the bottom of a lake. And this forms like pages of a, of a history book of the lake's past. The perfect sampling spot is the deepest, flattest basin of the lake, as this is where all of the material accumulates. These layers at first appear to be only mud, but what they are are the remains of everything which has lived in or around the lake. So things like tiny algae, also plant remains, and also insect remains. And we use these to try and determine what the past environmental history was. So things like higher low nutrient levels, and also higher low levels of oxygen at the bottom of the lake. Paleolimnology has been used in other Ontario lakes, such as Gravenhurst Bay, where it accurately tracked past trends in water quality. I think it's a good thing for Lake Simcoe that the Lake Simcoe Conservation Authority has embraced the paleolimnological approach. It allows us to collect information about the lake's history that previously didn't exist. European settlement around Lake Simcoe started in 1796, and on this core sample it will be between 25 and 30 centimeters. By slicing the core into horizontal or almost cookie-like sections, we captured a discrete interval of time. By studying these, we can find out what was happening in the lake, what its environmental history was, and also what was living in the lake as well. And using dating techniques, we can find out what period each one of these cookie-like slices were from. This project has a benefit to the municipality because of our great interest in the water quality of Lake Simcoe and the uh, programs to improve the water quality for all our residents. The most alarming condition that we see in the lake is an increase in the amount of nutrients and also a decrease in the amount of critical oxygen-rich bottom-dwelling habitat. And these are critical summer refuges for fish like trout and also whitefish. The benefit to these paleolithological studies is that they enable us to compile a long-term environmental record of the lake's history. And these will enable lake managers to evaluate the success of our restoration efforts and also suggest where changes should be made to our cleanup strategies.